we have come to Peruna Wildlife Sanctuary today, which is just out of Perth, like an hour. And you can only come here by booking. It's only open for six months of the year. And it's just nestled between the Wayunga National Park and the Avon Valley. They do a lot of conservation work here and they reintroduce species. And we're having a look today. Mark's excited. Yeah. Can't yeah, wait. I, am, uh, I, I can't wait. Look at the water then. Oh, that looks. Let's go there for a quick second. This is cool. So what you do, you have to write them an email that you want to come and have a look at their little property and then on the, you get an access code for the gate because it's all locked in and you have to call them before again, like that's what I did anyway and it costs about five dollars so you pay over the phone. There's three different walks here, Possum Loop Trail, the Quenda Trail Circuit and the Numbut Track. We're going on the Quenda one and we are on our way now. When you get here, you have to put down your name in the secret hikers book hidden away in a little box just before you start your walk so they know who's here and whether or not you've returned. <sighs> Already sweaty. Mark's just walked past the lookout. And I can see it from here, it looks really nice. Mm. And he just doesn't want to go there. But I'll make him. Look, it's there. Like, how stupid would we be not to go? Have a cup of there. Oh, well. We're going then, I suppose. Yay! This is perfect. Mm. It's made for us. Isn't that nice? And that's the view. Well, probably not that amazing no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing like a kind of washed out, overcast midday scene to mm. stir the senses. We're going to have a little cuppa now, because we've earned it already. This coffee's alright, we're on a high fat diet. <laughs> we are. Uh, no sugar diet was last time. I'm on a no sugar diet. <laughs> <laughs> no sugar diet was a joke. I know. The high fat diet is high fat, is low earnest. carb. Mm, high it's earnest. High fat, low carb. Yeah. Giving it a go. Who knows? I mean, something's going wrong. I should be an Adonis. <laughs> you know, with him, you only have to let the camera roll for a little bit. And then he's coming out with shit. That's amazing. Mm. It's amazing. I like it. You're pr very privileged viewers. <laughs> Max just pointed out some animals jumped up here and done a poo. There. I'm guessing like a rock wallaby. It could be. There is actually, like I have to look it up what exactly, which wallaby, but they do, they have like a reintroduced species here now. Okay. I think it's either the tama or the yellow something I'll, I'll look it up and also then the western quoll i think it's either threatened or endangered and they started to reintroduce it here too so it's very cool but then nocturnal so i don't think we'll get to see them right. they keep the foxes and the cats the feral cats and the rabbits sort of under control so they put out this poison 1080 and that's only <laughs> that poison only is poisonous to non-native animals right well, kind of, yeah. I mean, it's found in the plants here. Mm -hmm. So the animals here are kind of adapted to it. Mm, so it won't kill them. But it will kill foxes and feral cats. That was a nice break. Mark's now in backpack duty. And I can walk lightly.
little mark. Yep. What's your verdict so far? Um, you know, six out of ten. Six out of ten. What makes it a six? It's like it's slightly better than average. It's alright. It is very, actually. It's been very peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Very quiet. I mean, you know, average is fine. That's the thing. Six out of ten. I feel like it's a that whole scoring system. Mm -hmm. It's like if something's five out of ten, it's rubbish. But really, that's just normal. Whereas six out of ten is a bit better than normal. Mm -hmm. You know, ten out of ten, unachievable. I think one it's out, quite nice. One out of ten. Like Suzanne. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. She's in to my mind ten. Oh. <laughs> to go there. We made it to another little lookout and I think this is the last lookout. It's pretty. And this is um, the fence they've put everywhere and the top, it bends around. Can you see that? There. So it's harder for cats and that to come in. This organisation that's run, that is running Peruna as well, they're actually a non-government -govern organisation. And they do some really, really good projects. And one of the better things about these particular people is that a lot of the funds they do raise go straight back into conservation and research and I think it's awesome. I'm going to put a link down below to these guys. Please go and check them out. I think it's really, really worth it. Now we're making a little experiment. Mark's been... There he is. Mark's been, when we got here, he's been to this house there as a toilet, yeah? And apparently, what did it say in there? That you can't see through the windows, like... From the outside in. There are only one way. You can see out but not in, but it looks like you but can But now that see we're in. walking towards it, it looks like you can. So now I'm going in. People could have seen me in my most private moment. So I'm going in and Max's gonna tell me whether you can see me or not. Uh, this wave means see me. You can see me. Alright. And I like wonder if I can't. This nothing. This is like can't see. Okay? Alright, let's begin the experiment. Now telling them that we've returned safely. Nobody needs to send out a rescue party for us. And we're going to leave this sanctuary now. We're going to a different part now, of, not of this park, oh, but of the yeah, area. Jesus and we're going to watch the little sunset. Yeah. Alright, cheers! See you there. Boy, this is so nice. I'll show you, I'll turn around, it might, there's Mark, look how pretty, there's kangaroos over there, <laughs> here we are, for this week we're saying goodbye and we'll see you next Sunday, cheers! cheers. <laughs>I think it's a seven, at least out of a ten. Seven. Because mm. yeah. I actually prefer to John Bor Forrest. Yeah, but you grew up in you grew up in the, well, you started your life in the DDR, so and? you're naturally more optimistic.